Howdy everyone, Pulcher here with an Age of Magic video. And in today's video, we're moving into the next round of the AI Championships, the final semi-final battle. So whoever wins this will go up against a lead in the finals. So pretty big match. And we have Nem versus Palin. Palin, one of the crowd favorites. So a lot riding on him. <laughs> Not putting pressure on you there, buddy, but it is what it is. So here is the board. Nem won the coin flip and she opted to go first. So we'll go over bands starting with Nem and then going one for one. Uh, bands, Dracona, Irizet, Choran, Belladonna, Lucky, Naja, Nora, Wilhelm, Brynhild, Magnus, Katar, Soothsayer. So very standard board for bands. Probably one band that always does surprise me though is Choran. I don't think Choran is a throw. Oh, that is a lie. No, there has been a match or two where he's Stone Rain has made the difference. So, okay. No, let's go. Pretty good bet band for the board. Um, yeah, Wilhelm, we've seen him absolutely carve up. Uh, lucky you don't want her. Uh, when there's a Dexa on the field, you do not want Qatar. So, I think out of those two, Qatar's a much bigger threat. Get rid of him. Uh, Magnus, obviously. Naja, obviously. Dracona, obviously. I mean, Sutsaya, we've she's honestly done horrible this AI Championships for except for one battle where she apps and that's the winning that was the winning character for Alib in and what got him into the finals. So that's pretty big. Uh, Ira, is it? Yep. Yeah. Brynhild, yep. Yeah. I mean, very very straightforward band. So we'll go into the selection process. Nem going first, and she started with Silver Moon. Now. I do not think we've seen Silver Moon in the AI Championship so far. So how Silver Moon will perform is an absolute, it's a it's a pretty big gamble. But then over to Palin, who then went Gloriana and Steris. So obvious you have to go the healer. Your enemy has a healer. You've got to go a healer as well, I think, especially with Silver Moon. The idea is that she's going to try and stall out the fight to get as much damage out as possible. So Gloriana is going to help in that sense as well. And Steris, I think out of all the damage dealers left on the board, he's probably one of the better ones. Um, so pretty standard pick for Palin. Back over to Nem, who then went Volna and a full medal. I think full medal is just always such a good pick because the moment an enemy, an ally for him is hit, that's not him, he will put the taunt up. So pretty good pick for Nem. I don't know about Volna though. Uh, back over to Palin, who then went Dexa and Sneaky Beaky. Uh, so very, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm not a fan of either of these characters. But, I mean, the board does not have a range of characters to pick from. So you've got to keep that in mind. Uh, back over to Nem then, who went Kabuto and Cage for her final main five pick. So Cage, I think, is a pretty good pick. However... Picking the cage when you don't have other rogues, I think, is a bit of a, a hold back. The, the cage for Palin um, would have been a lot better, I think. Back over to Palin, who then went uh, Troda for his final pick. So he's picked up that tank. Now, with Gloriana, Troda, not a horrible choice, I don't think. Uh, especially if he gets his taunt out. He's very slow. Taunt's going to be up for a long time. Uh, but... Yeah, so that's yeah, that's the main five. There's nothing super outstanding about either team. The gamble is with this Silver Moon now she's going to play. Into the subs now. For Nem, she picked up Pig Boy, Eraser, Kashat, and Jag. So, I mean, nothing groundbreaking there. And for Palin, we've got Infernus, Sabretooth, Roland, and Gatekeeper. Now, mind you, these are subs. However... The players get to pick five of their nine heroes to begin with. So the main five they've picked doesn't mean that's going to necessarily be in their main lineup when going into battle. So those are the teams. Very interesting. We will jump into the first match now and see how this plays out and who will be going on to the finals. Jumping into the first match. Cage goes into hiding. Loriana goes out with her buffs. I think it only goes on Dexa. A bit of damage on the... Roland, who gets a shield out on the Gloriana, it's going to be very helpful for the Gloriana. No big damage coming out yet. Silver Moon doesn't use her healing because no one's health is low enough yet. Big damage on Dexa. The taunt comes out on Schroeder, which is going to be huge. And then uh, the buffs do come out from Gloriana now. Dexa is still quite low, even with the AoE. So damage is going to come out on that Schroeder now. It's going to give 
Whoa! Okay, Steris comes through and one shots the Silver Moon. That is massive for Palin. Huge, huge, huge. Zatoran is taking a lot of damage. Now they need to take out another damage deal. If they can take out Cage, I think Cage is probably the next big there. Or maybe Volna. Troda finally down and is a 4v4 situation with Dexa on the absolute ropes. If they do uh, Dexa down, 4v3 situation now and two characters low, but AoE comes out. If Gloriana has another heal lined up somewhere, Cage goes into hiding. Big AoE from the Volna. Not doing a huge amount. Big, big, bit of damage from the Steris. Steris is actually doing... A lot more than I thought. Heal comes out for the Gloriana, giving Palin a bit more life, but she is eliminated. It's 4v2 situation now. Volna still not dead. She is still hanging in there. A bit of damage comes out on the Steris. P Palin needs to take someone out. He's rolling falls. It is Steris left. There's not much he can do against four characters, I don't think. This damage is just was too split. I don't know what was going on as the first point goes to Nem. We're going to take the fight over to the contenders and see what they would like to do. Okay, so this is a little bit trippy, but my computer did an update and it messed around with all my settings, which included the volume controls for my videos. So the second fight was done and the volume was just scuffed. So I've muted the clip and we're going to go over what happened in the fight here. So... Yeah, the results. I don't want to try and re-record the fight, even though, yeah, we'll just get into it. So we're jumping into round two. Nem has taken out Silver Moon and put in Full Metal. And Palin has replaced his team with Infernus and Sabretooth. So AoE comes out, pretty decent damage. Now we got the tank with the A, uh, the Taunt out. Goon and Troda will get his Taunt out eventually. Until then, Palin's team is free for all, really, except for Gloriana, who can't be targeted. AoEs will still hit, though, as <clears throat> Nem's team is taken down pretty decently with some AoE damage, but is retaliated with the Volna getting some AoE out as well. Some healing happening, and the Goon, very close to dying, is eliminated, bringing it down to a four, 5v4, uh, 3 situation, 4v3 now, as uh, the Taunt from uh, the Trodar is now out. Now, the... Steris does have the ability to be attacked past the taunt, so they're going to take advantage of that. But once that wears off, if it wears off, then the attacks will be right re redirected back to the Troda, which is huge if that happens, because then that split damage, but also healing still coming out, and it is a 4v2 situation as Palin takes the second point. So, 1 point to Palin, 1 point to Nem. We will have to take the fight over to the contenders. Very rare we see a winner change their team. Happened, didn't pay off. So we'll go to the third fight now and see what happens then. Moving into the third battle, Nem has taken out her Kabuto and put Silver Moon in. So she believes this is now going to be the optimal team. Palin has changed nothing. So it's now battle of the RNG. Who's going to win? Steris doing some huge AoE damage. The uh, AoE damage, the uh, protection from the Silver Moon now coming out as well. Taunt from the Kabuto. Uh, Kabuto. Troda is out as well, so that's going to protect some of Troran's team. Now, they've just got to survive long enough to get past this invulnerability. Once that falls, Palin is in a good spot. But as you can see, I mean, that's there's two characters on a Nem's... Oh, the healer is down. On Nem's team, that could fall. They're just being protected, though, from that Silver Moon. So we're going to have to see what happens. Now, Troda's going to take some more hits. He's a tanky boy. He's taking a few hits, but he falls. He's now a 3v... For 4v3 situation as one character finally falls. And uh, two dodges coming out. The Infernus goes into critical HR. Oh, not in critical, close, close, but Nem's team is in a really good spot. A lot of misses happening. Silver Moon nearly taken out. If they can take her out and focus some damage on the damage dealers, Palin might be okay. But Infernus is very close to dying. He does die. The Silver Moon is taken out. It is a 3v2 situation. But Palin's team is not in a great spot as the Steris and. Sabretooth are taken into critical HP. Not a lot of crits coming out. The Steris falls. The Sabretooth falls, giving the second point to Nem and one point to Palin. Palin eliminated from the competition. <laughs> and Nem moving on to the finals. The finals will be Nem versus Alib. Congratulations to the finalists. Well done to Palin. He put an amazing effort in the whole way through. Unfortunately, not being able to make it to the finals, though. So... The next fight will be the final fight of the AI Championships.